Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima. Last time, Cain and Cecil left the Kingdom of Baron um, after disobeying the king, and I never did go over Cain's equipment. Basically, he's a dragoon. Um, he doesn't have any kind of special abilities, except that his attack is wind elemental. That's what that little wing means under element attack right there. So he is able to deal pretty decent damage to flying type monsters. Anyway, let's head inside the Mist Cave. And here we can dash around, which is so nice. It's a game changer for me to be able to dash. Ooh, after the battle with the imps, I got the imp summon. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to using that. Uh, we can only use that one if we have a caller, which will be soon. Go back? Who's talking to me? How odd. Hmm. Another thing that I did um, between episodes is I ran back to Baron and I um, went to the inn. Because Cecil, he was kind of beat up just a little bit. So I did want to make sure that he was, you know... A decent amount of health there. It's not that big of a deal, and I have plenty of potions, but it is something to keep in mind. Yeah, look how much more damage Kane does to the eye wings because they are floating type monsters. Ooh, we get some eye drops there. Yeah, basically, if an enemy can inflict a status ailment upon you, they pretty much drop the antidote. Um, and they drop it pretty often as well, so that's rather nice. These guys are just basic vanilla. We're not really going to run into anything too powerful or too unique this early in the game. Awesome. Got a tent. Oh, and here we have these sword rats. You know what? I'm going to use the dark ability on them. Um, the sword rats, they can counterattack with a really powerful ability if you attack them, but you don't kill them. So I would rather just kind of get rid of them without having to deal with them. Otherwise, use Kane's jump, and you should be fine. Awesome, get another potion. Oh, it's that voice again. Oh yeah, they said don't worry about killing this Esper in the Mist Cave. I don't want to kill it. Um, well, yeah, I have to. It's, you know, King's orders. Uh-oh. Yikes! Her boss time! It's the Mist Dragon himself. Whenever it's in this regular form, you want to attack it mercilessly. Deal as much damage to it as you possibly can, especially using Kane's jump attack, because, like, Cecil's doing 50 and Kane's doing roughly 200. I mean, it's, it's a shame not to use the jump attack. It's just so good. But do be careful, because soon enough, yeah, it's gonna turn into Mist. And I'm going to be completely screwed because Kane's going to jump and he's going to attack the mist. And then you'll see what happens. Oh, nothing happened. That's kind of nice. Um, normally it counterattacks with like this cold mist dealing a pretty decent amount of damage. While we're here and not attacking it, let's go ahead and scan it. See how much HP it has. Oh, that's lovely. I guess it's unscannable. According to the strategy guide that I have, because I'm a rabid collector of strategy guides, it has 465 HP, but it looks like the HP has been um, increased in this version because Kane himself has done three jumps, dealing roughly 600 damage just in and of itself, let alone what Cecil's dealing to it as well. Oh, there we go. Maybe the HP was doubled in this hack, but it's still... Nothing that you really need to worry about. Get the South Wind. That's essentially the Ice 2 spell. Oh, look! One of the first changes of this hack. The world map has been changed right here. Normally, you would just head straight right, and you would be able to go to the Mist Village. Uh-oh! Okay, so here we have a back attack with the Sandworm. Oh, with the Whirlwind, I was I was expecting that to deal the weak status ailment, which would bring us down to critical condition, but thankfully it didn't. It deals, like, no damage whatsoever. Um, one thing about being in the back, though, is that 
we are actually relegated to the back row, so that's going to reduce the amount of damage that we can inflict by half, but it also reduces the amount of damage that enemies can inflict to us by half, so that's rather nice. Uh, let's see, next thing I want to do, let's go ahead and heal up Kane. I could use a tent if I wanted to, but there's really no need to do that right now, and I definitely also want to save. Okay, so let's head inside of Mist and deliver this package. Uh-oh. What in the world? This didn't happen in the regular game. Whoa, Mist Rage! Yikes! Yeah, so we have to fight the Mist Dragon again, but now he's angry. Or she's angry, or it's angry. Uh-oh. Oh no! And it looks like it's countering jump attacks with a cold mist. That really sucks. Let's see how much damage Kane's... Okay, so Kane isn't dealing all that much damage with his um, regular physical attacks, so Kane's going to be my healer. If somebody needs healing. I mean, right now. I mean, Cecil needs healing, obviously, but it's not that big of a deal, seeing as the uh, Mist Dragon isn't really dealing that much damage to us. One thing nice about the Mist Rage is that it's not going to kind of scatter into mist and you have to like wait around for it. Basically, it only counterattacks if you use jump damage against it. So as long as you don't jump, you should be fine. Just use your regular physical hits and there's really nothing to worry about. I do want to scan it though. That's what I like to see. Oh, great. No weaknesses. That's not what I like to see. I wonder if last time it didn't let us scan it because, um, because I analyzed it while it was in its kind of misty form rather than while it was in its physical form. I don't know. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Killed it all the same. Ooh, wow. We're getting all sorts of great items that we can use in battle. Yeah, no kidding. Wasn't that aggressive before? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I, I recall that in... I want to say there was a translation patch for this... For like J2E or something, and it was a more literal translation patch. And instead of being called Package, it was called Bomb Ring. And it's like, really? Like, the game might as well just tell you straight up, hey, you're gonna burn this village to the ground with a bomb ring. Yeah, Kane even says that. There's a bomb ring in that package. <laughs> yeah, why? Oh, hey, what's wrong with your mother? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm really glad that they didn't rename Caller Summoners in this translation. I really like how they call them Callers. That's my preferred translation in general. Yeah, sorry girl, but we killed your mother's dragon. Twice, in fact. Wait, what? No, we're not gonna kill this little girl. Are you kidding? Wow, Kane. Oh, so Cecil's going full on treason now. Oh! So you feel the same way, Kane? So you're gonna join us, you're gonna come with me. You'll fight against Barons too. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just gotta get Rosa out of there and get other countries on our side and then go and fight against Baron. Yeah, we'll take her with us. She should be a caller after all. Uh oh. <laughs> I 
like Kane. Because Kane does what I would normally do. Like, screw asking the girl. Screw reasoning with her. Just grab her, for God's sakes. Uh-oh. Kill the bitch! Call Bang. Whoa! And here we get some awesome mood seven. Yeah. Mode seven's so cool. I remember Nintendo Power made such a big deal about Mode Seven graphics with um Pilot Wings and F Zero and all these other games. But they really didn't use it in RPGs all that much. I mean they used it here, they used it in um Secret of Mana and Final Fantasy VI, but that's pretty much it, at least off the top of my head. I'm sure I could list more if I really looked into it. Oh, I'm sure Kane's fine. Hasn't been kidnapped and brainwashed or anything. Really one step. So at this point, Kane has left the party. The little girl, though, isn't joining us. She doesn't trust us. She hates us, in fact. But here we have the oasis town of Kaipo to go explore. Oh, um, yeah, we really do need to use the inn after going through that cave and fighting two bosses and everything else. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Thanks. Oh, um, yeah, the girl, too. I guess she needs some rest, yeah. I'm just selfish. <laughs> I didn't even think about her. Yeah, come on now. Oh, she's just not speaking to us. I guess she's given us the silent treatment. That's kind of sad. Uh-oh. Yikes! How did they know that we let her live? Boss time! It's the soldiers and his general. Or general and their soldiers. Anyway, against these guys, let's use dark. Okay, got rid of all the soldiers. That was easy enough. And then the general will just run away. If you want to, you can sit there and try to fight the general, and it will take forever and a day, and it's completely not worth it, so I wouldn't worry about it personally. Well, yeah, we're trying to protect you. Oh. Okay, so Rydia. And she joins our party. My first time playing this game, whenever I was like 9 or 10 years old, I would always call her Rydia. I had no idea how to pronounce her name, and she was Rydia until I was probably... Hell, until probably the internet, like for real. Until I was probably like 18 years old. I mean, it just was what it was. You didn't really know how to pronounce names back then. You didn't have the internet. You didn't have anything else. So you just kind of had to go with your gut. Oh. Huh. I have to find this Anna girl and this Tela guy. Okay, more stuff here that we don't need. But let's keep on looking around this inn. What do we have here? Ooh, they actually have beer in this game? Who knew? Oh, well that's no good. Huh, so they're telling us all sorts of different places that we have no idea what they are or how to get there. Oh great, more monster activity. That's just lovely. Okay, so there's nothing really going on in the inn here. But let's see what else we got going on. Hey there. Okay, so here at the um, armor shop, yeah, you definitely want to get some upgrades. Let's get uh, some leather armor for Rydia, an iron ring for Rydia as well, um, a leather helmet for her also, and let's then go to our equip menu and see what we got going on here. So, instead of joining with the little lowly crappy rod, she joins with the Staff of Change, which you would normally get much, much later on in the game so that's very nice and it really does let you like experiment with um 
with various pieces of equipment, because you would get that change rod, but you really wouldn't get a chance to experiment with it, you know what I mean? Or like kind of play around with it. So that's kind of nice. Now, in the original version of the game, this beginner's classroom was not here. This is exactly carbon copy, the same thing of what was in uh, the town of Baron. Seriously, get out of my way! Move it! Yeah, I have turbo and fast forward mapped to the same button right there. It makes for easy battling. But anyway, um, yeah, so if, if you miss the training room in Baron, go here. You have the training room there. Eight huge sea snakes. Oh, man. So there's an old man block in the way and eight huge sea snakes block in the way. That's just lovely. <laughs> Some old kook. We have another dancer. I kind of wish that there was like a little side quest involved with the dancers. Um, kind of like there's a side quest involved with the pianos in Final Fantasy V. I think that would be a pretty nice touch, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have the ice rod that we can buy, the healing staff that we can buy, longbow along with all sorts of um, elemental arrows that you can buy that Rydia can equip all this stuff, a silver dagger that's incredibly expensive, a dreamer harp that no one can equip, oddly enough, some really, really, really nice stuff here that was not in the original game. So yeah, I like this, but unfortunately we can't afford any of this stuff, or at least I don't want to buy it right yet because it's there's no need to buy it right yet, but do keep that stuff um, in mind for later on in the game. Hey there. Oh, um, yeah, we heard. <sighs> oh, I do know Cecil. Um, Cecil. It's Rosa. My first time playing this game, whenever I was very young, again, this was one of my roadblocks because I, um, I did not know that Rosa was in this room. I I, I, I would, like, search around the town. I didn't, for whatever reason, I didn't see that this village, like, or that this, um, house existed. And I would keep on going to the, under the, uh, the watery pass until it would keep on blocking my way. And I didn't know what to do. And, yeah, I was kind of a dumb kid, but whatever. So before we go into the watery pass, let's actually fight some sand hags. And I want to use dark against these guys. Be oh, I need to use I need to move Rydia to the uh, back row. Yeah, basically at this point we just want Rydia to gain some levels. She needs it. She learns the spell of ice. She learns the spell of cure. Awesome. Oh, cool. Get an echo orb that cures silence. And let's see. I want to. No, 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 no. Let's move her to this spot. That's the most protected spot uh, that we have. And let's have her heal herself. So she has access to white magic, black magic, and call magic. She can call a chocobo, which deals pretty decent damage to one enemy. But let's teach her some more call magic with our caller's magic orb. Hey, hey. and Rydia learns the imp call as well. Nice. Okay, now that we got that done, uh, and we're a little bit more protected now that she has some levels, Let's go ahead and use Dark again. Probably not going to kill this guy, but let's use our Change Staff on the Hund Legs there. And see if it can do anything. Does nothing! Now, normally it would turn an enemy into, the, into a pig, a pig status, which would drastically lower its attack and defense and make it not able to cast any other magic besides the pig spell. So, yeah. Okay, now Radius seems that she's decently protected. She has enough levels right now. Um, so let's see what else we can't do here. Let's try that chain staff again. Maybe it will work on the sand hag. Hey! Yeah, there we go! So that's what I'm talking about there. And if I never mentioned it before, the uh, whenever you use dark... Um, oh wow, it costs 10. Huh. Uh, whenever you use dark, it's going to take, I want to say, 10% of Cecil's max HP off the top, 
it's not that big of a deal, but it is something to keep in mind there. Okay, so now I'm just going to run in here. I'm going to use the inn. Um, Rydia seems to have a decent amount of experience. You don't want, basically, you just don't want to go into the underpass um, without, like, any levels for Rydia. You want her to be, to have something, some kind of, um, to be fortified somewhat. Using armor, putting her in the back row, getting her some levels. She definitely needs it. She is easily the most fragile character of the game at this point. And after that battle, Rydia learned the Lit spell. Very nice. Huh, I don't see any old kooks around here. No one's blocking my path. In fact, I did see some treasure. Awesome, get Maiden's Kiss. That cures the Toad status so that these guys can inflict upon you. One way to have them not inflict Toad is to use the change on them. Um, but they're also weak to ice, so let's go ahead and cast ice on both of them. Just use the back directional button, and that will make magic target uh, two enemies instead of the one. So, that's kind of nice. New to this hack, Rydia can learn the charm spell, which inflicts the confusion status. She was unable to learn that in the original version of the game. So, that's kind of nice. This must be that old guy. Oh, wicked bard! Oh, yeah, we've heard about you. You're the old kook. A gigantic monster? I thought there was eight monsters blocking the way, not just one. Yeah, so we can all go together. Sounds like a plan to me, and Sage Tella now joins our party. Sweet! But can we make it through the waterway and make our way to Dam Cyan to stop the Wicked Bard? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.